For the first time, gramophone records for sale to the public are being made entirely in New Zealand. The first is the Ruru Karateana Quintet playing the conductor's own composition, Blue Smoke. New Zealand's first hit record was a sad song, one of homesickness, written by Ruru on board the troop ship, the Aquitana, in 1939, on his way to World War II with the Maori Battalion. Up on the decks with thousands of other soldiers, he was watching the blue smoke drifting homeward and thinking about the loved ones he'd just farewelled. It wasn't until 1949 that Ruru got a chance to record this great song. The record features the beautiful vocals of Pixie Williams, but also the dreamy Hawaiian-style guitar playing of a young Wellington musician, Jim Carter. When I was asked to re-record Blue Smoke, I found out Jim was alive and well, 95 years old and still picking up a ukulele from time to time. I thought I'd better go pay Jim a visit, have a look at his lovely guitars and hear about the recording of Blue Smoke. What year was that made, Jim? 1931. That's gorgeous. And you, well, you've got five or six other ones as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But is that your favourite or is, it, is, there, is that too hard to say? No, that was the favourite now. Oh, this one? Yeah. During the course of the day, I was also hoping I might gently persuade Jim to play this song again with me to re-record it right there in his living room. But Jim wasn't so sure, and I had some work to do. You know, not playing anymore, you're... you're no. Uh, Occasionally I sit down and... Have a... Knock a couple of notes, but I'm like, yeah. I can't really play now. Is it that your fingers are a little bit not doing no. the right job, or...? It's just because I haven't been practicing at all. Ah. It, it goes when you do that. Yeah, I bet, I bet it does, yeah. yeah. It's a challenge, it's a hard instrument anyway, I think. I think it is too. Who was the one that inspired you in the first instance? I think Jerry Birds. Yeah, some who be 12 Street Red are still talking yeah. about it and trying to copy it. But they don't manage to do it. And have, you got, have you got a copy of that? well turned out. It just makes me realise bands these days don't, yeah. don't try hard enough generally. <laughs> Look at everyone, they're so swish and flash looking. You can see okay. the equipment we had. Yeah, yeah. Really primitive. <laughs> well, and how many mics? Because it would have just been the one? Yeah, just the and one. And everything just had, everybody had to gather around it yep. to get the right balance? That's right. A very big part of that record is your, is your slide, um, your guitar playing is... Yeah, I was never very impressed with it. Really? No. Oh. It sounds, it's lasted pretty damn well, so, yeah. You didn't no, think you thought, played it that well? No, I thought it was very ordinary. Oh, really? <laughs> as a song or as a, as a performance? As playing. Really? The silly part is I can't even play as good as it now. Oh, yeah, well, then, but you were a young man then, <laughs> so I can, I understand the desire for perfection. And you would have played it probably in other environments and felt you played it better. Yes, yes. Afterwards. It, it, there's something about recording that everybody tenses, tenses Yeah, tenses up. up, that's right. Yeah, trying not to make a mistake. Yeah. And I think it has an effect on it's, it. Pixie's vocal performance is quite formal in a way as well. Maybe yeah. she would have sang it a little looser in a, I'm in a sorry dance. I'm she never got a bigger break. Yeah. If she'd been in Auckland, I think she would have really been... Well, her voice is very beautiful and unaffected. She didn't try and make it sound too sophisticated. No, no. It just sung the melody very pure. Yeah. It was yeah. really lovely. Yes, yeah. yeah, it was just natural. Yeah. There's Pixie. Oh, yeah. She had an afro here, though. <laughs> an afro. But I see he only ever played piano in F. Yeah. Rude. Yes. Mm -hmm. Only in the key of F. Yeah. <laughs> when you play it, if you play it on ukulele, what key would you play it in normally? I don't play it. You don't play it? <laughs> no. I've 
Could you, if it's if the, the moment arose? I would only play single string with a few chords. Right. Not really ukulele playing. It's out there, but I, I use the baritone. Right. So how how would you play it if if I pushed you or pressed you? I don't think I could. It doesn't lend itself. I play stuff like that. Right. <laughs> Would, you, would it be okay if I got my guitar out and played a little, yeah. ver tried to play for you anyway, a little version of Blue Smoke, and yeah. maybe if you fancied you could strum along, and, do you think? Yeah, I can do that. Maybe yeah. might be easier on the ukulele. Well, if we played in G, you go to C, do you go to an A7, or do you keep on the C? I the sky. Yeah, A7, and then to D. I must have just learned it off Ruru really and, and yeah. uh, played it. Blue smoke goes drifting by into the deep blue sky. When I think of home, I sadly sigh. Oh, I can see you there With loving tears in your eyes As we fondly said our last goodbyes And as I sailed away With a longing to stay I promise to be true and to love only you. Blue smoke goes drifting by into the deep blue sky. My memories of home will never die. With a longing to stay I promise to be true And to love only you Blue smoke goes drifting by Into the deep blue sky My memories of home Will never die Whatever I end up doing, I let you hear and make sure you're okay with, with it. Oh, thanks anyway, but I don't mind as long as you make the recording. The recording? I don't care if I'm on it or not. <laughs> I think it'll be all the better for it, you know. And it's a great uh, a great exchange anyway to have. I, I think it's very valuable. Thank you. I'm grateful to you for coming. I wouldn't have missed it for goods.